Hello YouTubers, my name is Nathan and you're watching Robot Masters. I've been getting a lot of comments about the battery. What type of battery do these robots take? How big are the batteries? What do the batteries look like? What's the milliamp hours? All these are great questions. So the only way to answer these questions is to open up the robots and give you guys a first look. So stay tuned. We have the Brava M6 at the bottom, the Roomba S9 at the top left, and the i7 on the top right. So the Brava M6 is the one we're going to start out with first. It is the easiest to remove the battery with. So let's get the hammer. No hammer required, just a Phillips screwdriver is all that's needed. So with the Brava M6, the cover is held on by two screws. I like that iRobot thought of the after sale as well. In about 3 to 5 years, these batteries will need replacement, and replacing these batteries are fairly easy. All you have to do is remove the cover and lift the battery out of place. I would recommend going with iRobot's generic batteries because third party batteries could be incompatible or may leak or explode in the product, ultimately ruining the product, and it's not covered under iRobot's warranty. Notice how the battery is shaped. It's really, they thought of everything. So here's the nameplate of the battery. I like how iRobot molded the battery into its product. It kind of looks like they're double A's, but I think they're a little bit larger. The iRobot Brava M6 has the smallest battery of the three robots. Next, let's look at the Roomba S9. The i7 has a similar way of removing the battery, so let's remove the panel. There's a few more screws to the process, but ultimately it's still fairly easy to remove. So there are four screws you have to remove, and then the top panel will lift up to reveal the battery. So, as I tear into these vacuums, I notice that a lot of these components, the wheels, the housing for the brush heads, are all module. Meaning that if one component goes bad on a robot vacuum, doesn't necessarily mean you have to replace the whole robot. You just have to order the correct part and install it. There's no soldered connections between each of the modules or aka component. Like I say, one module is the wheel, another module's the brush heads, they're all plug and play, which is really what makes a product stand out. One thing to know is make sure you unscrew the screws all the way or the cover will not come off. It doesn't take much pressure to lift this cover up, so if you notice any resistance like I'm experiencing in this video, just check all your screws. Just from looking at it, the battery, the vacuum motor should be easy to replace. The charging contacts will be a little bit difficult. They add some pull tabs to make the battery remove easy. If you notice any resistance, always check to make sure there's not an additional screw. I overlooked that there was one screw holding the battery down. Once all the screws have been removed, all you have to do is lift up on the two pole tabs and the battery will come right out. Sorry, it's kind of hard to read the label on the battery, but it's a 3300 milliamp hour. So the S9 battery is larger because it's driving extractor motor, the side brush motor, and a vacuum motor. The Brava M6 only has to drive the wheels and a liquid pump. Okay, let's go ahead and take apart the i7. 
it is the hardest to take apart. There's more screws and you have to take off the side brush. One thing I forgot to do was to take the side brush off first before attempting to remove the cover. Like with the M6 and S9, the i7 battery is just as easy, you just kind of wiggle it and pull up a little bit. Well, thanks for watching, hope this answers your questions about the batteries and the capacities. They're really easy to remove and replace. Um, down the road, if you have any problems just refer back to this video for installing the batteries and always buy from iRobot don't buy third-party batteries see you next time bye